Welcome to West Coast Wednesday here on Prospectors Radio with Kathleen Biffle, Rich Cooley, Scott Swiftwater Tony, Indiana Gold Hunter, Dennis Dayton, and your host, Tim Grimes. We hope you enjoy the show and thanks again for listening. All right, everybody, welcome back to another West Coast Wednesday right here on Prospector Radio. I'm your host, Tim Grimes, and joining me tonight, I got a couple of the crew here. First off, we got Mr. Scott Swiftwater Tony. What's going on, Scott? Oh, not a lot. Still set up here at the old Indian Creek campground in Oregon, waiting for my days to head over to Idaho. How much longer uh, that, before you leave? What's that? When do you leave uh, Oregon? I got a about, let's see, what is today, Wednesday, about a week and a half, I think, is before I start going that way. And I figured, you know, I might stop off at a couple of AMRA claims here in Oregon on the way over as well, check them out, because I'm going to give myself about a two-week buffering before I have to be there, so yeah. I'll have enough time to stop off and uh, check out some of the AMRA claims here in Oregon as well. Okay, well, that, in Oregon? Yeah. Oh, well, there's AMRA claims not- in Oregon. <laughs> Yeah, there's not really. They're not too far away from me. I'm on, the, like I said, the coast uh, on Gold Beach, and if you cut cut up and over the mountain, so to speak, uh, there by Grants Pass, and either that or I can go down and just touch just below the border of California and come back up, which I think I might do that because the highways are not so windy. And right. It, it, yeah, and you never know. You know, if you get higher up in the mountains and stuff, or you get wind and you get fog, and oh my god, ah. and I hate driving that stuff with a big. Well, yeah, like, of course. It's not big, but it's a toy hauler on the back, you know. <laughs> yeah, but still, no fun, right? Yeah, it's no fun. You know, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. I mean, yeah, you get to see stuff, and that's what a lot of people is like. Oh, you get to you get to see all this stuff, and then I'm like, not really, because I got to drive. <laughs> yeah. Well, how's the gold looking <laughs> so far? The gold. Well, the gold's been pretty fair. I mean, they get some good gold. And not really good gold. Then I mean, I could if it, if if you could work more sands, it could be better. But where I where it's kind of funny because how you dig it, there's a patch of rocks there on on the Nasika beach that everybody digs at, and I mean the beach is actually on the rocks, but to get through all the sand, it's it's pretty deep. But there's a freshwater drainage under a road that kind of keeps these one rocks polished off. So if you move the rocks and kind of dig up between them and underneath them, that's where you kind of want to be. You know, down in some dark gray uh, rocks that almost reminds you of like big pieces of magnetite or hematite. Mm-hmm. And then and then. You know, you'll find a good tan. You find anywhere from, but there, you've got to understand these are really fine, fine, fine feet pieces of gold, folks. So you'll find like fifty, maybe fifty-five in a good in a good pan. You know, if you pan it really slow, right. you'll come out on top. Now, I probably come out. I uh, think me and Ben, first time we ran a test, we got a third point three of a gram, and that was probably out of maybe seven classified buckets. Oh, okay. And here in the last couple, you know, later in the last couple of days, I've been running a little bit more sand, but it's kind of harder by myself. But I've been trying to put a little bit more sand through the gold cube, and uh, it it looks like it's about uh, day before yesterday. You know, I did so I was digging more rocks than anything, and I didn't really think that it ran that much, and it looked okay. But the, yesterday, I ran quite a bit, got a lot more buckets ran, and but there's a lot of fluff sand. You know, the stuff that just piles down on you. You know, just right. like the water's moving. And then uh, I, it, it looked relatively a little bit better yesterday, I would say. So I'm gonna if I go when I go back down on the beach, I wanna I'm gonna just try to run make a day of being down around the low parts around this little pond that's out there, you know, just before you get to the big hump before you get to the ocean. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna dig around that little pond because I see a lot of black sands piled up there, and I'm just thinking maybe that could be a a little. You know, it could be through, throughout the whole sand instead of just down on the rocks. It's what I'm hoping. Gotcha. But it's testing, you know, testing, testing, <laughs> testing, always. Well, sure. But So if you stop at one of the other claims up there, you might get some get into some bigger stuff, right? Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm hoping on. You know, the claims say that they have, you know, really good gold, and you can do metal detect and high bank and da-da-da-da. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it is a four-wheel drive back there and it's a short hike so oh, okay. i don't know what's yeah i don't know what's going to happen right on that. i mean i got the full wheel drive but i don't know what kind of full wheel driving it is you know what I'm saying? yeah right <laughs> this is true well scott hey scott do me a favor i don't i don't know if, if i'm still breaking in or not i know because of the weather here but give give me a day scott go through a day like when you're not driving you're 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 out prospecting like you know you get up you eat you prospect you eat lunch 
What do you do on a on a day? You know, yeah. when you're set up and take ready us, to go, what, right. what's take your routine us, that you go through? Take us through a typical like day. I, like yeah, like I've already found a spot and I'm ready to go now and dig. No, like you just got yeah. out of the bed. <laughs> yeah, well, like you I said, wake up and then. Oh well, my mine's pretty easy. I wake up, throw my clothes on. I might get a cup of coffee or might not, and I take off. I don't eat breakfast. I don't do all that morning stuff. You'll rarely ever probably see me even eat lunch. If I decide to, it'd probably be like a bologna sandwich, and I go back to work. I just generally, I just I don't eat all day, and then at night I eat a supper. But uh, it's yeah, it's, I don't got <clears throat> I don't got kind of any kind of routine, you know. It's just a uh, kind of fly by my pants, the seat of my pants kind of thing, you know. Whatever goes on, I might hit you know hit the store in the morning, if, you know, to get a jug of water or something. But you know, after that, it's just you go out and you do the same. You pretty much it's it's the same thing every day. I mean, there's nothing that really changes, you know. Besides, you know, one day you got to take a day off and you got to clean up all your gold and stuff. But yeah, really, there's not much of a routine, Dennis. Uh, not with me anyway. I mean, I know other guys like you know Ben when he wakes right. up, he's up at five o'clock in the morning, drinking coffee, doing bacon and eggs, and six, you know, six kicks up the heat in the morning and making his lunch and doing all, you know. I just, I just never, I never got into doing the morning thing. Just it make me go to sleep again. <laughs> So how long you spend digging each day? Right. But like I said, it, it I move a lot. Like I said, I just I've been used to it ever since I was freaking seventeen, eating like that. And I don't know, it just it wears me out. But I just like I said, you stay consistent through the day, keep working good, and then you can try to get back here about I'd say four thirty-five. You know, and then you know once you get back to camp, people think, oh, your day's over. No, folks, that's not the way it goes. When so, you get back to camp, you still got to yeah, you still got to classify down your stuff, clean out your gold, get it snuffered up, or get it put in a, a jug or a, a bowl, so you can do it later at a more convenient time. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Then you come in, eat supper, and go to bed. Right. Well, how many hours are you digging a day? You think? Now, here lately, I've been getting down there anywhere between eight thirty and nine, and I won't get back here until like three thirty, sometimes four. Okay, and that's that's and that's staying pretty consistent, you know, because once you once you get like two buckets up there classified and I'm classified down into like what they call it, like a four mesh or something like that, four mesh or six. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's four. It's mm-hmm. a little bit a little bit bigger than the, or you know a little bit bigger holes than the eight. Right. <clears throat> but they still go through the gold cube relatively easy because it's all just more or less quartz pebbles and sand. Right. Okay. And I mean, we got a lot. Of, we got a lot of quartz pedals on the beach here. It's pretty cool. I mean, if you could go through and actually classify, uh, say, oh, I don't know, if you went like maybe an eight mesh or, or a little bit littler, you could you could keep everything would go away except for all these little quartz white pebbles, and it'd be awesome. <laughs> it'd be huh. awesome to put inside a fish tank. Oh, that'd be <laughs> cool. Be, <clears throat> yeah, because they're white as snow. You know, the waters washed them off and, and just beat them but, to, to the round as anything. Mm-hmm. Dennis? So, but it'd be cool. But yeah, well, but that's, you usually that's don't weigh usually. what you have. What's that? I said, I know you usually don't weigh what you have, but how much do you think you got right now? If I was to guess, Dennis, I would probably say, I might say in maybe the three, three and a half, four gram area. Okay. But then again, like I said, this stuff is it's very, smart. very fine. <clears throat> and yeah. here, you know, I'm loading it by hand. And, right. and, you know, carrying it probably a good 20 right. yards, 30 yards. And then I sit there and run it through a gold cube, and then you go back and re some more. But, you know, and you're also, you got you guys that have got to understand, you know, once you get down to that good area, just because you're digging does, and, you know, and you're making a hole doesn't mean that that sand on each side of you is not, you know, every time that water moves, it's like a wave. Right. The sand just, right. poof, you know, it, it comes and fluffs in on the top of your, on the top of your hole. And you're, you're, so you're digging bad sand along with the good stuff. But you try to, you know, try to run. If right. you're going to move it, run it, you know. Not so, sure. I mean, it's not it's not great, but I'm thinking if if some if there were some people who was really serious and then I'd get down here and you'd run a bunch of buckets during the day, you could probably pull a gram, gram and a half out of a good day, but it'd be, you know, everybody has their part to do, and <clears throat> it'd move a lot more buckets. But just doing it by myself, you know, I think for the beach it's okay. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not saying it's great. But uh, I am finding gold that makes, you know, you've seen the pictures on my Facebook. That's that's the beach gold out of the, you know. Right. 
So it, it's pretty, but it's like I said, it's pretty fine. It really packs in when you put it in a vial. Uh, like oh, I got sure. a third of a gram in a vial. What's the, uh, what's, what's the purity of that gold, do you know? Oh, for Oregon? Good question. Yeah. You know, I'm guessing, and I've seen some, like Arizona gold is really good and shiny, and this stuff is really good and shiny, too. So I'm probably guessing that this has got to be, I'd say at least the 17, 18 mark, I would bet. Maybe some, you know, since it's on the beach and it comes from the ocean, okay. could be a little bit better. Mm-hmm. You know, we, you know, Oregon, Oregon and Washington's not too far. You know, all the the currents come down from Alaska too, and it brings sand. So right. You just never know. Right. You never know. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, that makes. I've sense. never tested it, but I've oh, seen. Van... You know, like Colorado. Colorado's got more copper in there, so they're going to look like a you know dingy gold. Van but said I've it's twenty twenty two. Is what he said. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like I said, it's it's very shiny, very 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 shiny, especially in the sun. People's like, they say, "Oh, you got some gold," and they look at like, "Oh, there it is." They, they don't even, you know, most people's like, "Oh, is that gold?" And the, these people up here are like, "Boom, that's gold," because it's really shiny in the sun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's no mistaking it. <laughs> wow, <clears throat> well, that's cool. Well, at least you're you're having fun and you're getting some gold, so that's all that matters. Yeah, but it was yeah, but it was supposed to be a little bit better. You know, if I oh, if yeah, I had no. if I had to do it all over again, I probably probably would have stopped here for a week and probably would have went to Cape Disappointment for a little while because uh, uh-huh. I know they probably do a little bit better up there with the black sands that they have there. You know, you can actually tell where the black sands are and you just take the black sands and leave everything else because everything else is junk. Right. So it's really, yeah, it's really easy to find that, that layer and then dig out that layer and, you know, just take the good stuff I and got leave you. the bad stuff on the beach. Okay. Well, live and learn. You, you know. Yeah. You maybe, learned. Maybe next year I'll go right. to Cape, so. Next year you'll do it a little differently. Right? Yeah, like I, wonder I, said, why they call that Cape. I wonder why they call that Cape Disappointment. <laughs> I, I don't know. Do not know. Another good question. Damn, you're on fire tonight, Dennis. <laughs> I think it, I think it was, uh, I think it was. It's probably from the boaters, <laughs> the mariners. Uh, probably. I, bet uh, they I don't, don't think it's because answer. of gold or anything, but I think it's because the mariners. Uh, I'm sure, man, right. pop in the answer yeah. there. You know. I'll look it up for you, Dennis. <laughs> Why did they call it Cape Disappointment? Hmm. Yeah, right? I'd, like, I'd like to know. Hmm. Yes, me too. Yeah. Oh, and before and before I get back off here, and we're gonna slip over to this, there will be another giveaway tonight. I got the second <clears throat> hat donated by <laughs> Jack Schaefer of the Black Canyon City Campground. He's nice enough to donate them. I'm nice enough to put them on. And like I said, that's right. This one is last one was a mega hat. This one is a Trump 2020 hat. Trump. 2020. And if your name is picked, if you don't want it because oh, you don't yeah. like him, well then we'll just throw it back in the mix. No problem. That's right. <laughs> Easy peasy. All right. You got it. It's all good. Well, Scott, Easy thank you for being peasy. here, man. We're going to get back with you here in a minute. We'll get Dennis brought in here, and then we'll we'll just have it. us a little roundtable discussion. All right? You got it. All right. All right, everybody. Also joining us, our little buddy, the Indiana Gold Hunter himself, Mr. Dennis Dayton. What's happening, Dennis? <sighs> Well, I hope everyone can hear me okay. I hope I'm not breaking up too bad not because too of bad. the storms that we have. Mm-hmm. But uh, 37 days. 37 days <laughs> before you go to Idaho. Yes, sir. Idaho, dredge a hoe. Idaho. So you could dredge a hoe. Yeah. I got... <laughs> and get some gold. <laughs> I've got three claims there. Yeah, well, me and Dave has three claims there, and we've got over a mile of the South Fork Clearwater River, mm-hmm. and I'm looking forward to um, even talking to uh, David. Of course, you know, Shannon was talking about that on, on uh, Sunday's show. Uh-huh. Um, that's who I got my claim from. Uh, even if even if the water's up, well, I think there's a bridge you can cross You can cross over to the other side, so I could still get to the other side. There's a bunch of high high benches that have actually never been worked. All you know, right. most people are, are in the in the river, running right the river. So you know, we're taking the high banker. Okay. And uh, you know, David Peterson has got some stuff he he made for my uh, 
my Raptor 2.0 that I got with the clay claw. So it's, it's going to be shipping out this weekend to me. So I'm going to dream mat it up and uh, going to take it. And, and, uh, and, I, and you know, we, we've got some other people that are going to be going there. Doc and, oh, gosh, Corey. Mm-hmm. Caleb might even uh, show up. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna we're gonna put a crew on the on the high benches. There, cool. You know, now, Dennis, I, have I, you, I you've already been out here or no? Well, that's, have claim, you already no. been there? Okay. Because no, I was just wondering, like, is, is there no, no, is no. there like full offs for campers, or do you guys camp at a campground, or how do you guys do that? I mean, have they told you anything about that? I've I've got I've got two of my claims. The one you I can I can fit ten to twenty RVs on it. Okay. I mean it's a big pull off, and then on the um, it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. So it's it's off the main road, easy to get in. You could you drive an RV in, you know it's flat, it's it's perfect to camp. That's where we're going to be camping. So yeah, I've got actually two good you know campsites. Mm-hmm. Cool. That's cool. Heck yeah. Yep. So you're ready. And, and then I got to find, because I'm going to, I know I'm bringing a quad, and I think I think Doc Rose, he was going to bring uh, one or two of his quads. So I, I still got to find out. I got to call Dave and find out what the regulations are, because I know some states you can drive them on the roads, or you have to have a permit, or you can't. Either way, you know, it's, it's going to be, you know, dragging the dredges. And it's easy access. I mean, it's real simple. I mean, boom, I mean, you don't have to lower your dredges down a huge hill i mean it's right there so that's good we'll get the quads, say, we can I, drag stuff uh in and out well that's I was good gonna say, i Go looked ahead. at it on google earth and i thought it was right beside the water it the road looked right there it is it is it is i mean it's really i mean it's not hard to do so you know you can probably literally back up right to the river and unload your equipment mm-hmm. that'd be cool so that will be that will be and it always, it'll also be cool <laughs> and if it'll we got also be cool like the water time and if you got oh, yeah. what then well if we got any listeners that, that live in Idaho I also want to get we're going to get a port you know try to get a porta pot uh, put on our site and then you know one of them wash stations and mm-hmm. have everything set up and ready to go mm-hmm. if anybody cool. there in Idaho those who to get a hold of let me know <laughs> well, for what, a porta pot p- what part of Idaho <laughs> that would help yeah. It, it's about 20 miles from Elk City. Well, there you go. Some There's probably a company right in Elk City you could probably get one from. Elk City Turlets or something. Well, <laughs> you know. I think, I, think the population, I think the population of Elk City is 400. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> that's so, not very big. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a small community, so. Uh-huh. Uh, who knows? Well, they still might have a crapper rental you never know right i'm sure even if it's an hour away so it don't matter i'll get i'll get one out there one way or the other oh sure got to because that makes it that message makes it nice having a crapper you know you know yeah it'd be, it'd be all yeah it would be uh, too bad no that'll be cool no not bad at all no you, you'll get it you'll get it squared away you got 37 days, right? 37 days, 37 man. I'm just, days. Yeah, I feel like I'm already starting to panic, like I'm not ready. <laughs> well, it's going to get worse as it gets closer, probably, too. Yeah? Oh, I know. I know. You know I know there's going to be something I forget. It happens every time. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. But maybe if you forget me. it, <laughs> Scott will have it, or David will have it. So. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be I got my whole There's arsenal. enough of them going, thing. so if you forget it, one of them should have it. I would think, anyway. So don't make yourself too crazy, all right? It'll yeah, be well, good. I'm, uh, you I'm got just, it. I'm going to try to make. I'm going to try to make a checklist of, of of stuff, you know, and I check it twice and oh yeah, and, you know, double check it and make sure I'm everything and oh heck uh, yeah, that's what you got to do, man. Yeah, has to. It'll be good. You go. Oh, yeah. It. No worries. So, so I understand you're going to do the birthdays tonight. <clears throat> is that correct? I I actually, I am going to do. Yes, it is. Are you going to sing, too? Or? <laughs> do, uh, do, do a little song, and then I'll <clears throat> uh, do some birthdays. 
well, I think that's a pretty good idea. You know? I don't see Roll nothing. that beautiful bean. I don't see nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Are you ready then? Dan. I, I think I'm ready. All right, well, go ahead and take it away. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, go for it. All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you, Dennis. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> did, did that did the, did the birthday song break up? Was that good? No, it did. See, that came through loud and clear. I don't get it. It's weird. All right. It's all good, all right. though. Well, we have our birthdays for today, which is June 5th. And we have Dave Proctor, Eric Hines, Hoss Chalupa, Jay Latham. Jason Bogle, Jeff Compton, Jeff Gutler. I hope I'm probably hacking that up. Uh, <laughs> Jonathan Server, Roger Koss, Sophie Harris, Stephen M. Phil. And tomorrow, on the 6th, we have Andrew Olson, Bruce Roberts, Clint, Eric Schmidt, Gary, a.k.a. Grandpa slash Orlando, Gio Ormati, Gerald E. Floyd, Jim McBride, and Karen. Dang, a lot of birthdays. Happy birthday, everybody. Right. Happy wow. birthday. You wasn't kidding. Happy birthday. You wasn't kidding. Everybody. And we are going to, or how do you call it, to highlight the... Uh, yeah, highlight a page. One of the names. One of the birthday people, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to pick tonight. I'm waiting for the page to come up. So, Sophie Harris. Oh, okay. Preston's and let's daughter. Okay. Um, Sophie Harris. Now, I'm trying to find what Shad always finds. He's good. I'm, I'm sure I'm hacking it up here. <laughs> um, <laughs> Let's see. She likes what type of prospect do you do? She's she's a beginner. Okay. Um, she belongs to the GPAA. She was referred oh. to the site by her husband, Preston. Oh, Sophie's is one. And wife. huh? I said Sophie's Preston's wife, not his daughter. I screwed up. My bad. Okay. Yeah. And it says, what kind of equipment do you use? Well, she uses her husband's equipment. There you go. <laughs> so, whatever he's using. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy Sophie. birthday, Sophie. <laughs> that was a good one. I use my husband's equipment. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Whatever he's using, that's what I'm using. Mm -hmm. Good answer. So they, dig to get, oh, yeah. they go out and dig together, though. That's pretty good. It is. That's pretty cool. Teamwork. Yeah, that's good. Oh, awesome. Now I, I believe Scott's gonna do the precious metal prices. Is that is 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 this true? Yes, this is true. Scott oh, Swift wow. Tony standing in for the big Shad Biffle. Oh, well, yeah. and uh, just just in case everybody was wondering, old Shad and Kathleen couldn't be with us tonight because of uh, electrical problems. Obviously, they had a big storm roll through there and uh, took them out this morning. Was that it, Tim? I think it was this I, morning, something right? like that. Power, they said, yeah, power out of yeah, something yeah. like that. So uh, that's why they couldn't uh, be on air tonight. But uh, as far as the precious metal go, here we go. And gold has took a great rise. That uh, went up to 1306.70, which nice. is not bad. Uh, I like it, like, you know, me, I like it uh, 13 or above. And I knew a long time ago I said it was going to stay around that 13 range. And it has, and I'm pretty glad of that. But uh, right. silver, silver is 1464 today. And it, everything on on the cha it says change. It's all zeros. So obviously the prices Ouch. did not change today. I guess because it says no change. I reckon. So uh, yeah, silver's at the big fourteen sixty four. We got platinum rolling in at seven ninety seven. 
point ten, if that guy matters. I guess it does if you got a million of shares. But. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then palladium's coming in at one thousand three hundred seventy-eight, which is higher than gold still. Yeah, yep. Don't understand that, man. I tell you, I don't understand it. But mm-hmm. man, they must be using palladium for something. For a lot of something, obviously. I'm telling you, it's yeah. it's it's going. I can't believe it's like. A, what was it last year? They were platinum and palladium was like around the five six hundred dollar range. They both the same. And yeah, palladium took a heck of a jump. Oh yeah, but, it's crazy. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Yeah. But as far as gold, guys, thirteen hundred. It's above thirteen. That's that's good. Time to get out there and move that dirt. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with them prices though. We'll take them, right? Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. And I, you know, I love it because people always ask me, "How much is an ounce of gold?" I'm at one ounce, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> but what's funny is, uh, you guys, the old timers, you know, they if you take a 45 caliber bullet shell and you fill it up, that's an ounce of gold. Really? So you, somebody says, "I you know how much does an ounce say 45 caliber bullet shell?" <laughs> no, Easiest way to say I it. I did not know that. That's, is this a fact, Scott? Uh, yes, this is the fact. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. That's good to know. Forty-five caliber. It'd, it'd, it'd be a forty-five long. Oh, a forty-five way. long, <laughs> like a forty-five <laughs> yeah. long Colt. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> See, you have to clarify but, that. <laughs> yeah, you know, to me, forty-five is forty-five. Though it's about the same size. It's about as big as your thumb. <laughs> it seems like anyway, but yeah. No, it, it's a fact. Back, that's back in the old days. They would measure it out in an uh, old forty-five casing, and they'd know what was out. Well, and that's... if you think about it. Our vials are about the size of 45 caliber casing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at one right here. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, you're right. Good point. Good point. A little bit of info if nobody oh, knew it out there. But, cool know. little info. Yeah, didn't know that. Right, Learned right. something new tonight. And so, so what's... Ow. <laughs> oh, by the way, <laughs> what did you Sorry. do? Bump your head? No, I moved wrong. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, maybe it's something outside. I heard thump, and I heard you go, ow. I was like, did he just bang his head? Oh, I just moved, <laughs> moved the wrong way. That's all. <laughs> oh, and De- hey, Dennis Dayton, just for your your information, since you asked this question a little bit ago, uh, Kate Disappointment. The Kate was named on April 12, 1788, by British fur trader John Mears. Yeah, it's Mears. Who was sailing south from, this is going to be fun, Nuka Island, uh-huh. Canada in search of trade. After a storm, he turned his ship around just north of the Cape and therefore just missed the discovery of the Columbia River. That's why it's called Cape Disappointment. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he was looking He was looking for furs and missed the river. <laughs> a little history <laughs> lesson, that. too. Yeah, yeah very good. Wow, well, man, where else can you come and get all this info? My goodness. Well, let's man, it. I'm back. We just had one heck of a flicker going on. Oh, I didn't know you left. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Did you we, didn't hear my, you didn't did hear we the lose bit, you? Did, did you? you drop, Dennis? Or I, I dropped, yeah. I, just, I uh, didn't even know. Everything flickered here, and it shut me off for oh, a second. Oh, it so, kicked you off? Gotcha. Yep. All right, well, let's take a quick commercial, and, and then we'll be right back with more fun-filled information. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Do you like to mine for gold, enjoy prospecting a nice crack in the bedrock, enjoy getting outdoors to camp, fish, hunt, and hike on your public lands? You plan your trip, load the gear, grab the dog, put the family in the truck, and drive off to a locked gate. A sign says you cannot enter or access your own public lands. Mining claims and public land owned by we the people are being designated as off limits by our own government every single day. Are you concerned about the direction our government is going? Are you tired of seeing no access, no entry signs on your lands? We are, and we are fighting back. We are AMRA, America Mining Rights Association, the fastest growing small mining advocacy association in America. AMRA is a 501c3 not-for-profit formed by miners, hunters, off-roaders, retired military men, and women to stop the insanity. AMRA was formed to educate, unite, and help the small miners and 
public land users on their rights. Rights given to us by God. Do you want access to great mining claims? For a small tax-deductible donation to their Miners Legal Fund, your family gains access to proven excellent mining claims across America for an entire year. AMRA challenges the USFS, BLM, EPA, and the other agencies intent upon stopping you from enjoying your own lands. You are who pays these people's wages. It is time they listen to us. We need to unite. And that is what AMRA is doing. As you sit here right now, thousands of acres of public lands are being closed, locked, and blocked from use by you. Are you fed up yet? Join us. Get in on this fight and let's restore America to what our families fought and died for. Freedom. Just visit AmericanMiningRights.com. AmericanMiningRights.com. Also, check us out on Facebook at American Mining Rights Association. AmericanMiningRights.com. All right, everybody, we're back, and we're just having a little discussion tonight about some stuff. Oh, Dennis, you going to the faucet this weekend? Uh, my plan. Nah, it's your plan, and that is uh, this Saturday and Sunday, correct? Yeah, I'm, uh... We're planning on leaving as soon as I get off work. Mm-hmm. We'll have we'll already be loaded. I'm just basically taking my detector and my dowsing rods and my rotometer. Oh, Roger! <laughs> my 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 electroscope. Your so. electroscopy. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Cool. And, uh, yeah, cause I, I guess way. all the events really happen on Saturday. Most of them, the main right. stuff is all Saturdays doing. So, yeah. All right. Cool. Let me know. Yeah. yeah. Not too many people do anything on Sunday now, unless it's like a two-day thing, you know. All right, but this is the the faucet at the GPAA Swank claim, which they've had for the past oh. couple of years, and <clears throat> we've been to it pretty much the past few years. I don't, Dennis, you didn't make that, it last year, one, though, did you? That, that's one old Ed Marvin goes to, right? Yeah, Ed it's usually it's always it's there. It's a two-day event, Scotty. Right. Yeah, it's two days, Saturday oh, and yeah, Sunday. Yeah, two-day mm-hmm. event. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, and Ed's usually always there, Ed. Jesse, they usually come for that one, and you know, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, they usually have a good turnout for the Fossick. It's more yeah, metal detecting. It yeah, it's fun. It's, oh, yeah. it's a lot of fun. You know, they put on some good hunts and give away a lot of good prizes. Oh, and, absolutely. You know, it's a lot of fun. <clears throat> so cool. I had to dust cool. off my detector too. I reckon. <laughs> hey, hey, Dennis, did you you didn't hear me yeah, tell you about the cheap disappointment thing, did you? No, you refreshed me on that because when I got booted off, we were saying something about a fun food. Give yeah. it to me real quick. Oh, that must have been it, yeah. I was going to say, uh, the Cape was named on April 12, 19, or 1788 by British fur trader John Meese, who was sailing from the Tuca Island, Canada, in search of a trade. After a storm, he turned his ship around just north of the Cape, and therefore he just missed the discovery of the Columbia River. That's why it's called Cape Disappointment. He was so close to finding the fur trade, uh, but okay. he missed it. All right. No, and, you see. and I found it, I, you know, I found another one that was really um, cool too because I kind of I kind of looked up how Gold Beach got its name, and it's funny it says uh, history. So the community was originally named Ellensburg in the 1850s, but later took the name of Gold Beach after a beach near the mouth of the Rogue River where hundreds of placer mines extracted gold. <laughs> uh, hundreds of placer mines, they say. Hundreds. That thing, it, it must be <laughs> tearing it up. <laughs> it must have been. <laughs> Jeez, it's crazy. All right, so you guys are getting ready to go on this big Idaho adventure. Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> got Scott and Dennis and David and Ray. And, oh, God only knows who else is going. So I'll tell you what, I'm about as pumped as Dennis is because I know, uh, there's, like I said, there used to be in court site a gentleman by the name of Idaho Joe. And I don't know if anybody's ever heard of him or not, but he used to go to court site quite a few times and he would always sell gold nuggets that he dug up and he, in Idaho. And he has put some of the nicest gold nuggets in my hand that I've ever held in my life. And he, you know, he had actually pictures of where he dug them up and stuff like that and where he was working. And I'll tell you what, I hope, man, I hope one of us finds a half of anything that he's ever put in our hand. It's going to be exciting. So oh, yeah. I'm excited. I'm thinking it's going to be cool. I, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. I hope you guys After are. the dredging season there, brother. <laughs> I hope. The gold that you're going to find. I hope. I'm really yeah, I'm excited. 
got my fingers crossed for you guys. I hope you guys kill it. You know? And it's always <clears> going to be cool because I get to camp out with Dennis. Cause, you know, me and him's never been on an outing. We only was in, what, Vegas is where we first oh, got to you'll have face a blast. to face. You'll have a well, blast. Well, we, yeah. Yeah, and we went on that Amber claim. You showed up. Remember, remember, you like lived ten miles away. Oh yeah, and you got yeah. Lost? That's... <laughs> but That's did right. he camp, Dennis? Dennis, but did he camp there? No. Say no. okay, he hasn't camped with no. you yet. No, he he drove in, stayed for a couple hours. His white shirt never got dirty. Of course not. And his bandana never sweated. Of course got any not. Got sweat on it, and then he left. He came back the next day and he got lost again. He <sighs> came back the next day. <laughs> And uh, no, he did work. He he actually, he he was he was pretty smart because, you know, I, I I give it to Scott. He come out there and he had a canopy, and I talked to thinking, what are you doing with a canopy? And you know, here it is, 110 degrees, and he set that thing up <laughs> and was underneath it digging. I went, it's pretty smart. Well, that's why you got a canopy, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you yeah. blow that canopy above you, and you just knocked off about 30 degrees. Yep, see? It, 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 is like, it is like that. It's funny. Smart move. But, you know, I want you guys, you know, tell me, you're going to get there. What's the first thing you're going to do when you get there? Dennis, you're probably going to be the first one there, right? Um, no. No? Scott, <laughs> you'll be the first one no, there? Probably already camp. I, I'm going to be getting there Saturday, which will be on the 13th. We're going to leave Friday. Uh-huh. It's a 28-hour drive. Whew, we're driving straight drive. through. There's four of us, you know, going to Dave's. We're driving Dave's truck, and it's going to be me, Dave, Corey, and uh, Raymond. Okay. So we're driving straight through. We're, of course, we're going to stop at the uh, Mount Rushmore. I want to get some pictures of that. I've never been there. Uh-huh. And each state, I'm going to have to stop and get a deck of cards for the state I'm in because, you know, I collect cards. So. Right. Uh, but uh, I'm going to get there, and... I'm probably going to, you know, check out the, well, try to get a hold of David, and we're going to get the boundaries, you know, from claim from here to here, well, here sure. to here. Yeah. And then, uh, and yeah, then I want to go, first thing I want to do is start sampling. <laughs> right. I mean, I mean, uh, pretty much Shannon told me where to go. You know, he, he told me, because, so, you know, well, when he come on that show, he said, ah, there's some really good gold. And he, and he said, Dennis, or actually in an email, he said, I know exactly where the gold is at. So, mm-hmm. of course, when you say that, I started, where's it at? So he told me where to go. Okay. So you're going to get there. You're going to get camp set up first. Probably going to be the first thing you get squared away. Unpack, get camp set up. Then start thinking about getting some equipment in the water, right? Mm, yeah, we'll probably get it set up and... Uh, you know, get everything, figure out. Well, I know, well, Dave's going to be on one claim. I'm going to be on another. So we're going to oh, be a okay. couple miles apart from each other. But Okay. Yeah. I didn't know you guys were doing that. Okay. Yeah. See? Yeah, oh, yeah. See, that's why I got to, that's why I got to get directions to which, where we're going to be parking at. Cause I don't want to be in the wrong spot when you guys do show up. No, Scott, you're going to be, you're going to be up on the, on the third claim. You're going to be almost right next to me. So, you know, we're basically, going to have, you know, well, and Ronnie McCoy is supposed to be there, too, so we'll see. Mm-hmm. I hope he shows up. He was supposed to already get his permit, but um, yeah, Dave's going to be on one, I'm going to be on the middle claim, and Scott's going to be on the upper claim, and yeah, we're just going to... Are these all Are these all 20-acre claims? No, one 20-acre, two 40-acre. You're going to be on Man, 40-acre. Like a- that's a lot of ground to cover, buddy. You got a lot of ground. <laughs> yeah, it is a lot of ground to cover. You know? Holy shit! I'll be testing the whole first day. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe mm-hmm. that's well. the smart thing to do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the river. You know? The river. The river's the river, and I, you know, I could read a river, but you still got to well, go. You got to get your hands wet. We're gonna we're gonna have help with Dave. You know, we'll, I'm sure he'll he'll point us in the right direction on where to start. Mm-hmm. And. uh I already know where I'm going to start. I'm going to start exactly where Shannon, because, you know, he got in the 14 days that he was there last year, and his claim is right beside mine. Actually, his claim is right in between my two claims. And he got over a pound of gold in 14 days with a four-inch dredge. And, you know, he was pulled out of that water several times by, you know, 
locals and BLM and whoever else was harassing them. Mm-hmm. You know, so he'd been out of that, but in 14 days, he pulled over a pound to go. That's almost $20,000. Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, so, that would just about save my season. I'd save about anybody's season. Save somebody's year. Life, well, believe it or not, my, go, my goal season. this year was 20 ounces, and I'm way away from that, folks. <laughs> We're, we, I plan on, there should be more than a pound of gold, I just myself alone. Well, if you so, got that many you know, dredges. I'm, I'm setting the goal, I'm setting the bar real high. Well, set it high. You know, do it. Set it high. I won't and you're high. bringing a six, right? Or a five? Huh? <laughs> Actually, no, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to pick up a six when I get there, but I'm bringing my three also. Cool. Yeah, because I got my three-inch uh, high banker combo as well, just in case. Plus, right. so like you said, if, like you said, if we have to do the high benches and stuff like that, I'll just do the, I'll just do it like I do in Arizona. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's, you know, there's high. But like I said, when he was telling me about the high benches, you know, anyone knows that, you know, however they say a million years ago, that river was up a lot higher, and over the years, right. hundreds of thousands of years, it kept cutting and cutting and lower and lower. And those high be- high benches have never been worked, to his knowledge. They have never been worked. Man. That'd be sweet so, just to work that. <clears throat> ought to be you know? really nice go up in them high benches. Uh, it, it's going to be exciting, I'm telling you. I'm going to jump on a plane. I'll see you guys there. <laughs> there you go. That's, hey, that's what my gal's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody pick me up she, at the airport. <laughs> or I'll rent a car when I get said, to the airport. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's less than two hours away. All you got to do is you jump on a plane. We'll come get you. It's, it's less than two hours away? No shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Man. Yep. So all I got to do yeah, is Lisa get to Elk she's, City, she's right Oregon, car. somewhere in that area. Closest airport to Elk City is where yep. I need to get to. Oh, that'd be cool. It was so funny because I was thinking it was, I, I was thinking the name was Elk Snout for something. And I was like, no, Elk Snout's like, I think above Michigan somewhere. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> oh, no. Jeez. I think it's going to be a, a very, very fun trip for you guys. And Scott, you're staying the duration, right, like Dennis is? I'm, yeah, I'm going to be there the whole month. Dennis, you're going to be there like the whole month, right? I'll, I'll be there three weeks. A oh, three week? Oh. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Scott can stay. Three weeks is a week. month. I mean, heck, you know, right? It's... Well, yeah, I mean, you can, you can high bank you can high bank that, and pan Even that, year, after, that river right? year round. Right. After but the, the, oh, dredging, you can? the dredging. Oh, yeah. The dredging season is just from July 15th to August 15th. But, yeah, you can high bank. You can. You know, oh, you man, get your Dennis, I wish, water I wish you would have told me that. Well, that's I'd have been right. up there. For, I'd have been up there for the a month, and I'd already told you where. You know, that would have been smart. Instead of going to Oregon, well, yeah. yeah. Instead of going to Oregon, you could have went up there and already did testing and found. Well, oh, you know? I'll, I'll give. I'll give. I'll give you after the show. I'll give you David's uh, contact information if you want to leave a little early and head over. Go right ahead. That would be a smart right. thing, Scott. Get out of Oregon. Get there. Start getting yeah, ready. It yeah. seems to be the logical choice, you know. Don't I mean, it? heck, I could have got a good month in a test, and oh, yeah, yeah, I've been, you'd... we've been ready. Oh, that would have that would have been perfect, you know. Now, you... anybody knows, any any of you guys know that you know when you're down dredging, how many times have you guys been dredging underwater? And you're dredging, all of a sudden you you know you're starting to get a bigger hole and a bigger hole, and all of a sudden you've got all kinds of fish in that hole. You guys ever seen <laughs> that? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's funny. Yeah, but that's what's cool. Okay, well, on Dave's six-inch dredge, you can literally walk on it. Whoever's whoever's working with Dave, and you know, basically tending the box, they're gonna they're gonna have their fishing license and <laughs> and they're gonna be fishing <laughs> while they're dinner. tending the box. Because well, I'm yeah. telling you, man, every time I've I've dredged, there's been a ton of fish in that hole. Oh man, well, there's way to do I it. I think it's I think it's like my dredge. Uh, yeah, this, I got like four big floats, and I told Lisa, I was like, man, if I couldn't stand on this, I'd be, it'd be crazy, because they're big. <laughs> they seem to me anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, see, no, that'd be cool, and then you can catch right. dinner, and it's probably got probably some trout and some salmon, maybe some bass. God only knows what you'll catch yep. in that river, right? Have you have you checked on what the out of state licenses are for though, or what they cost? They're not that much. I Dave told me. Um, you can pick up like, I think it's a, 
uh, don't don't quote me on it. Like a there's like a three day license or a season pass, and even the season or, or a year pass isn't that much. Right. Because when we when we catch fish, because I'm bringing my I'm bringing my morale mushrooms with me, so <laughs> we've got to have fish with them mushrooms. <laughs> oh yes, you do, hmm? without a doubt. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. Dang man, that that work catch some fish. Yeah, I, some I got mushrooms. Few, I got a few pounds of that stuff frozen. Well, there you're ready. I got a few pounds of that stuff already frozen. And just imagine frying some fish on the open fire eating some morels man that'll be good won't it then that will be a oh, nice short lunch. yeah and doc doc i tell you what doc rose is, is bringing his i don't know how to say it it's a it's a mansion on wheels because uh-huh. he has on his he's got two big you know two flat screen tvs Jesus he's got God. man he's got everything so we don't have to worry about you know cooking on a campfire he's got a complete mansion set up in his rig what's he got a bus like lee had <laughs> one of them oh, it's, things it's it's bigger he actually it's it's bigger he actually stopped by um when he was coming home from like around louisiana you know he went to like louisiana i think and then georgia and him and his girlfriend you know were traveling and stuff i don't know if it's his girlfriend or his wife but uh that he stopped by my work, and I went out there, and I, I talked to him for maybe about an hour. We're headed back home to Wisconsin, and yeah, that thing is huge. Oh, I mean, nice. it's a man. Nice. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, yeah. There ain't you're, nothing you're about roughing you're, you're, it. You're, <laughs> your non-resident fishing license is going to be ninety-eight twenty-five, so a hundred bucks. Well, that ain't bad. That ain't too, split it up. Month. Not if you split it up <laughs> between you and just go. Here's ten bucks. Ten bucks, ten bucks, well, ten bucks, and right. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's gonna have the license. Well, I'll pitch in, and right. well, that, only that person will be able and to that fish. That person but... will be responsible for catching the fish, right? And like you yeah, said, but... they... that's you, right. You know what they catch up there? What? It ain't just trout, is it? I mean, I don't think <laughs> so. But what's wrong with trout? I think it's, it's salmon, we... trout. I'm sure there's bass <laughs> yeah. or. There's got to be a little bit of everything in that river, you know? Oh, yeah. But, I mean, it, you know, you know it's going to be quick and easy. You make that dredge hole, them fish are going to be dead in there, man. So it's going to be like easy pickings. <laughs> it's like shooting <laughs> fish in a barrel. Yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> don't get any easier than that, man. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't easier than that. I'm telling you. I mean, heck, if anything else, just have Dave suck him up and put a net there by the back of the the <laughs> dredge and let him shoot right into the That's net. Right. <laughs> you know what's funny? I tell you what, not, you, you, not, you cannot, you cannot, you can't. I've never been able to do it. I've had them come up and I thought, you know, and they went back at your, your and you try to get a, 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 a suction nozzle on them and you cannot catch one i know it's funny the way they, I have they never, move I've they're never quick caught one. yeah <laughs> it is funny the way they move when they see that nozzle boy but they're right there they're right there right yeah believe f- it or not guys i'm sitting here looking up the fish in idaho and there's a lot of trout uh-huh uh there's some uh steelhead there's some fish that just look like bait fish to me, and then there's co- sure. coney, which look like another salmon, the one that turns red, uh-huh. or sockeye, sockeye, sockeye. Salmon, sorry, yeah. right. And then yeah. so, and then yeah, they, well, they yeah. come, they, they come down to the stuff that I know. There's crappie, bluegill, white crappie, well, see, there you go. white sturgeon. Good mess of crappie, oh. always good. Yeah, but but there is catfish and musky and pike. Yeah, Man, I, musky and pike. All those are. Mm. Really good. Yeah, I'd rather have crappie though. Yeah, crappie. crappie you can't ever walleye. go wrong with crappie, right? Is there any yeah, walleye but... there? That, let's say walleye. Yeah, it's, it's, well, walleye. Hang on. Uh, I think I could see it. It's a small mouth right there. Yep, walleye. There's walleye there too. Oh yeah, man. See, never know what you'll get. That's what I'm talking about. Man, Idaho's got some good fish, man. I'm telling you, no joke. Idaho is the place to be, obviously. <laughs> I'm telling you, right? Well, see, remember, remember, I went, I went there when we had that rumble on the river part two. Yeah, you did. Yep. 
And I, and I was at the Payet River. Yeah, yeah. you was. I went it. to the Payet River. Right. Did that have gold, or did you just go there to fish? Oh, we had we got good gold out of there. Um, Monahan and Hamilton, they got really good gold. I mean, they were diving deep. They went straight. But my gosh, man, to put a dredge in, you it, you had to have four or five people letting it down with, you know, basically almost off a. Of, Right. It was like off a cliff. It remember? was the job. Oh, my gosh. It was. Yeah. And where uh, Matt where... Kelly and Jim Hamilton put in, it was a real long. I actually got it on my video. You can see. <laughs> that is a you big freaking hill. On one of my videos. <laughs> yeah, they were climbing back up the hill after getting the dredges set where they wanted to set. Mm -hmm. And it probably took them 15, 20 minutes to, to get. And that was by a rope. You know, they were coming back up. You know, they tied a rope up, up on the rail. On the guardrail, and uh, yeah, it's a uh, hike. Yeah, that's a job. When but you... where we're going, no hike at all. No hike at all. Easy peasy, right there. That's what you Man, want. Man, that's gonna be sweet. <laughs> Easy peasy. Yeah, Scott, you like need to Dr. just Pepper. like the Dr. Pepper guy. Yeah, sweet. like little sweet. <laughs> that's what it is. You need a little sweet going. That's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> sweet. Yeah. Scott, you need to just pack up. Load up and get the heck out of Oregon. You know? Yeah, I know. You just need to get rolling to Idaho. And start getting, it's calling my name. And start getting <laughs> getting some prospecting done, finding some good spots. And like Dennis said, do some high banking or something. You're still allowed to do that. So. Yeah. Do some test sampling. Right. Sample, there, you sample, already got sample. test samples done for us. It would be, that would be save so much time. And then you guys just drop them dredges in and just start kicking butt yeah i mean that would be I, it'd be it's like i said it's going to be pretty exciting to me i, I just can't wait i mean for what you know what's funny for what you're getting there I, you know i still haven't put together that six inch dredge yet well see that'll give you time to do that too see see that would give you yeah. time you could get that built you we'll, can, help, we'll help you get it together you can get testing and and like i said for what you're finding in oregon you might as well you could maybe get out there i bank it and find more than that in an hour you never know on some of them banks, <clears throat> you probably find that just sampling. Yeah, you probably so, find that just sampling in Idaho. Right, so you may just want to just say, "I'm packing up and I'm heading on the road." I mean, that might be the yeah, thing to do, Scott. That honestly, sounds about like a plan. It really does. I mean, there's nothing holding you there, so it's like pff, I'm gone. <laughs> you know, yeah, that, is, that is true. Yeah. The only thing I think Idaho's temperatures right now are still a little too a little chilly. No, oh, it can't and, be that bad. It's June, right? Yeah, but you, you, you now listen to yourself, Tim. I'm used to 100 and 115 degrees temperature. <laughs> well, well Oregon 50s, can't be much warmer. The, well, you get in the 50s, those swift waters are shaking. <laughs> but you won't have that wind like you got there in Oregon. That's uh, one good you'll thing. Get, you'll, hey, Scott, you used to live in Indiana, brother. You will get used to that, but for the first week, you will get used to it. It's just that easy. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to. I'm going to be in the water. That's what you got to do, Scott. You guys got to do it. You just got to. You got to do that. I mean, that's just the key right there. You know, yeah. You're like. I think the, that's probably what I'm going to do. You're the scout. I mean, bam. I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to say, "Hey, Dennis said, you know, there's places right there along the side of the road, right where I'm going to be at." I said, "It's time to go." I think that's the idea. <laughs> uh, I'll I'll get you. I'll give you all the information with Dave, and you can meet up with him, and you know you can get find out exactly where the claims are at, and he'll point you in the right direction, man. And are you gonna you're gonna be in the same like yeah. pull off or what do they call it, turnout camping with, with right? Yeah, we're all gonna be in the same same campground. We're all gonna be together. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was checking on. See, and just in case you got to do any yep. clearing or anything, you get in there and be. Be that guy. Get in there and get her ready, and and when the when the crew rolls in, you guys are set. It's just a, <laughs> Michael. You can have Michael Shelby says as soon as I get there, blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> but that's now, okay. You'll have a couple ricks of wood cut, split. Oh yeah, you'll be ready by the time everybody gets there. Yeah, I mean that's I that's. I don't have no axe. You only got. Well, you're gonna stop the hardware store and get one. <laughs> How do you not have an axe? <laughs> Do what? How do you not have an axe? You're camping. What the hell do I need an axe for? Because you're camping. 
You need an axe. You should have an axe. You really don't have an axe. <laughs> no, I don't have an axe. I got a damn good big pick. <laughs> you need an axe and a hatchet. You should have them both. Scott, hey, come I, on. Don't, I don't have those. You're going to have to stop the hardware store. <laughs> Get one. Dang it, here come Lowe's. Damn it. Yep, Lowe's. Boom. Get you get you an axe and a hatchet and You know what? I always I always wanted that axe that I always see at, at uh the Home Depot though. It's like it looks like a fireman's axe, it's got a cover and everything. Yeah, I, I like that sucker. Well get it. It's about fifty bucks, but I can get it. Well get it. I mean you can you know, it's gonna There you go. It'll be worth its money when you're chopping them trees to get some firewood. You know? I never so, really did that. We just carried that bro. Well, you're yeah, not we at. Always picked up the dead stuff. Well, you're not at a campground, so you might have to, you know, fell some dead trees. You never know. At least you'll be ready if you do. You'll have an axe hatchet. <laughs> you know, I thought that was funny. You know, when we were driving hey, from you know, Nevada, it. What's that? What then? I said you. You know, while you're there, you could also find out about you know. Porta pots while you're there. We Don't get all that yeah. information. Oh yeah. You know, since you're already going to be there. Oh heck yeah! Get a phone book. <laughs> right. Just grab a phone book I'll and you, start looking. I'll tell there. you, yeah, Dennis. I'll have uh, I'll I'll have that information to you by tomorrow, probably. Dude, you got to do that, Scott. You you just got to. We've decided this for you. <laughs> you just got to do that, man. I mean, you're just you 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 might as well say you're just wasting your time in Oregon. Just go. Because you're going to find that much well, gold I there. Gotta, I, still, I can't get my money back. i got to still wait to the end of the season or the end of the term. Oh, my God. How much is it that they would owe you if you left? How much? Think about oh, it. Well, I don't know. Maybe 100 bucks. Maybe 100 bucks. Well, I'm sure they probably would refund you. And if not, so, it's still... You know what? I would rather give up that 100 and too. go and get more gold. You know I, I would, mean? too. Otherwise, you're still wasting that money no matter which way you look. Right, okay. I would too. I would rather I know, but get I, there early. This is what I'm saying. I leave here on the 15th. That gives me a whole month until Dennis even shows up. That's a long time, guys. I got it handled. I know, I but it. you could be really yeah. getting some nice gold in that time. That's perfect. Just saying. I'd be gone. I'd be packing my stuff oh, tonight. Oh, I would too, yeah. I'd be like, I'm out of here. See, no, no, now, no, now that, 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 you know, that you're not tied down to that. Well, yeah, I'd be up and I'd be gone. Right, especially knowing there's better right. gold there too. You know, uh, bigger, better. Well, like, well, like I said, I still got to make gone. a video down on the beach. I haven't been able to do it. Oh of my god! <laughs> uh, hey, that's what I do, Dennis Dayton. You know, I make videos. Uh, make you know, I got the video. Sponsors. I got sponsors. That, make you know, the video tomorrow. Videos. Make the video tomorrow, Scott, and and then go and go. And tell them yeah, my, I got I got I got two good I got two good sponsors this year. It's, it's pretty cool because H and B Mining out of Grass Valley, California. You know, Sam the Man Baldwin. There, that's one of my sponsors. And then uh, can't stop smoking. He threw me a little uh, coin before I left, and then he I got a commercial that he had made, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put his little commercial about the barbecue in, in my videos. It should be pretty cool. Oh, there you go. You need so, to get cracking then. <laughs> yeah. I know. Not just laying back on the beach there in Oregon, <laughs> sucking up the sun. <laughs> Let me tell you what, dude. You're not laying on the beach here in Oregon. <laughs> or out there, what are you out there? People walk down here in shorts, and I'm like, what the hell? Are, are you, you out there thinking? surfing or something? I mean, come on. <laughs> I've seen. I've only seen one guy surfing, uh -huh. and man, he had. He's got a wetsuit that as big as it's. It's looked like mine. See? Like, Holy cow, Put yours on and get on out there and do some surfing. You might as well. You're like vacationing. Cause... Barney on a skateboard. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it'd be like. <clears throat> I don't know, man. I... Yeah, my wetsuit, my wet suit, I'm going to have to change up because, like I said, we bought a wet sheet that's 7 millimeter on the underside and then 7 millimeter on the outside that covers over the jacket part. And I, I've got, man... I've got well over 35, 40 pounds probably on my weight belt, and I still float. I do not get it. I don't get so this. I'm going to have to use my old jacket uh -huh. with my new my new unders, and probably that will make it right. With your new unders? Yeah, the unders. You know, the overall part. <laughs> <laughs> there's, well, there's unders and overs, dude. You know, Unders and you know, overs. Yeah, there is unders right. and overs. I agree. Who's on first? Yep. <laughs> unders. unders and overs. <laughs> Under and over, 
much. Yeah. But it's, it's going to be, you know, yeah, I'm going to say, like I said, I'm the, probably the 15th, I'm going to pack up everything, or 14th and pack up, and I'm probably going to head that way. I don't, you know, I, I don't have to stop the Amber claims. It's just going to be another week of spent money, so I might as well just make my way. Because the way gas is out here, it's yeah, cool. Get to your destination, man. Then you crap. can just take it easy. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, that's the key. I feel sorry for anybody here. Oh my God! I see three ninety something a couple places. I think here in town it's three eighty nine. Ooh, that's brutal. Wow. I'd get out of there as quick yeah, as in, I could. I'm in stupid land. I that's would. why I told Leo. I was like, man, I'm so glad we don't have running costs on the motors. Holy cow! Man, them kind of gas prices, I'd be going. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm going in search of cheaper gas prices. Yeah. <laughs> California's even higher, guys. I'm. Gee, I went to California and I was like, whoa, whoa, no, what that's the heck? California, everything's higher there and over-regulated and yeah. you know that's why i kind of tried to hit the top of california to come up here i was like i don't want to spend too much so i filled up in in, in nevada <laughs> and then headed over and went up the one really quick <laughs> but when i got up here i was like well it's only 10 20 cents cheaper so Man, i don't know it's crazy i don't know that is crazy prices right there no 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 good lord that's too yeah. much for gas you know you know, I don't, I don't know what it is in uh, Idaho right now. But, I don't uh, know. Anybody know what gas is in Idaho right now a gallon? Let us I know. Gold, what, what, Wyoming Gold Metal Detector says it's uh, 379 in Diego, San Diego, which I could expect it because it's up here. about the same here. Right, right. That's crazy. Uh, geez. That's just. You know, what I, you know what I don't understand? With California, with all the ports, and, the, and like, dude, there's ports everywhere. Right. How can how can gas be so expensive? What do they I only drop know, the gas dude. off on the east I, coast? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I don't I don't get it. I don't understand it. Yeah. You have all those rigs out there in the ocean and stuff. It's like, okay, why 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 is it so much more there? And it's probably closer to get it to them than it is to get it to us. And yet it's I cheaper. Well, John yeah. Says it's two, yeah, John says it's two seventy eight in Ohio. It is, yeah. So it is. That, that's crazy. No, that's good. I'd like to see it back to like two fifty again, but we'll we'll take two seventy. No, I mean, it's crazy just between there and here. It's just nuts. Oh God, like yeah. Said, well, they, they only, you know. Yeah, it is. It's nuts. It just don't even make sense, you know. And what's funny is I thought they I thought they dropped off a lot of fuel in Texas. <laughs> well, they got enough rigs in Texas. They should be. Oh, that's, that's what right? I think. Oh though. yeah. I mean, man. I mean, it should be cheaper up that way. <laughs> God, it's killing. It, it is. It does kill you, man. It, like I sold the truck up the other, uh, what was it, day before yesterday. This is no joke. It was eighty three dollars. That's crazy. That's crazy. Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. No. And then it's what you know. It's really funny because I've been filling up my gas tank here by myself. I don't know ever since I've been here. And there's a guy come over. And goes, did you use a credit card? And she just said, well, yeah. I tell him, pump of gas. <laughs> He goes, in the state of Oregon, you're not allowed to pump your own gas. I'm like, dude, what? What? He goes, yeah, it's a state law. I guess there's a state law you're not allowed to pump your own gas in the state of Oregon unless the clo- the store is closed. What? I was like, yeah, I was like, dude, I didn't know that. I got a locked gas cap and everything. You ain't messing with that wait, crap. Wait, 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 wait. So they got still full-service gas stations in Oregon where they pump your gas? Yeah, all of them are. Get out of here, really? Yeah, all of them in Gold Beach are on the guy. The guy told me it's against the law for you to pump your own gas during business hours. I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? Wow. I've been doing this ever since I've been here. Wow. Well, 249 in Missouri. See? Yeah, Connecticut, wow. 259. See? Where's Idaho? We got Brian Smith. My, my part of the woods, 339 outside the Grand Canyon. That ain't too much better. That's crazy. Man, I'll tell you. Nope, nope, nope. I just didn't think there was still such a thing as a full-service gas station. Yes, yeah. there is. Well, I'll be done. Anyway, uh, Tim no. Grimes. Yes. Tim Grimes. It's that big giveaway time. Uh-oh. You pick the name tonight, buddy. Okay, I haven't done that, that in a while. All right, give me a minute. You I guys, know. You guys talk, All right. You guys talk amongst just, yourself. Just, yeah, just to, just to let you guys know, it's, it's a Trump 2020 hack. Was donated by Jack Schaefer at the Black Canyon City Campground, where I reside from October to April, <laughs> most generally every year. And anyway, uh, he and the winner, and the winner, and the winner, if they don't want it, in the winner, if they don't want it, Scott's gonna see me in about a month. So you can just go ahead and and uh, if you don't like Trump, you don't want the hat. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> of course he will. 
I think I'm on a 15 second delay, guys, because every time I talk, then you guys hear me, and it, it's ever since I joined the call, I'm pretty sure I'm on a, at least a five second delay. I can hear you fine it's, right there. Yeah, I hear you fine. Well, you can hear me fine, but I think I'm delayed. You might be. That's possible. You're delayed, all right. Yeah, because there's a gap. Every time, I, every time I, every time I, every time I talk, it takes about three or four seconds, and then you guys respond. So I'm pretty sure I'm delayed a little bit. That's okay. Yeah, that might be that there's a little air just before you say stuff, and we do too. So I, yeah, there's probably a little delay. Okay. <clears throat> well, the rules. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dang it. The, skew, the rules are, as always, one minute and 30 seconds to answer in the chat room that you are here. And like like uh, Dennis and Scott said, if you don't want it, just say, I don't want it. <laughs> it's that simple, okay? And what what music do we want tonight for the giveaway? Jeopardy or Benny Hill? Turkey, no. Benny Hill? Yeah, do the Benny. Let's, let's laugh yeah. tonight. You guys we want haven't Benny? heard that song for a while. All right. All right, let me see. Where am I at? Da -da 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 -da. All right, are we ready? Your razor says I'm Jeopardy. Clicking for the name. <laughs> We're All ready. Right, I'm clicking the name. Okay, I. Shut up, Razor. I have the name. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start the music. All right, the lucky winner of the Trump 2020 hat is Joe Staskinokis. One minute, 30 seconds to answer your ear. Staskaconis. Staskaconis. One minute, 30 seconds. Yeah, Staskaconis. Staskaconis. Joe Staskaconis. Then the next. One minute, 30 seconds, Joe. Joe, if you're listening, the rules are just type in I'm here on the chat room and you won that beautiful Trump 2020 hat with a bright red finish and the blue lettering and the flat that you all love. <laughs> there he is. There he is. Joe, you want that fine Trump 2020 there hat? Thank you. I think. I figured he probably does because he, he said I'm here. <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of way I figure it, too. I'm giving him. We are all here. <laughs> all right. We're going to take that as a yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll take that as a yeah. All right, Joe, Joe, if you want, go ahead and PM me there on the chat room on the, on the side there and send me your address and stuff so I can oh, take a picture of it. Oh, he passed it. He uh, said Pass. <laughs> Oh, he's passing it. <laughs> yeah. He's throwing it off, folks. He just did a left-hand turn. Oh, my God. Here we go. Uh, the Here second, go. I'll Let's just go to the second name on the list. It was Kylie Evans. Kylie Evans. Kylie Evans. Do you, Kylie Evans. Do you want the Trump 2020 hat? If you're listening, just say yes or no. We'll, we'll give you a minute and 30 oh, seconds to say yes or no. <laughs> Play, gotta play Jeopardy next. Okay. Oh, they're no. begging for it. <laughs> they're begging for the Jeopardy. <laughs> oh my gosh! Thanks a lot, Razor. Let's see, Ray, Ray, <laughs> Bill, <laughs> John, they all want Jeopardy. <laughs> Kylie Hi, Evans, do you want the Trump I 2020 hat? So bad. That is the worst song in the entire world. Nothing could be worse than Jeopardy thing. Everybody loves Jeopardy. <laughs> Kylie well, Evans, Ky are I guess, you there? I guess Kylie's passing too. We'll give him a little bit, a couple of seconds longer, just in case. And then I'll go to you the... You know, it's, it's kind of funny because I... I I was talking, like I said, I talked to Jack, and he had to look at a couple of those hats. I said, man, it'd be cool to donate them. And the reason why is because I got a lot of people that actually get on my Facebook. It's like, oh, can, do you know where I can get one of those hats? I'm like, I didn't think it was like, like a bit of a calling. I thought you could get these things for like free somewhere, you know, like just pay know. the shipping. But I guess they're hard to get. All right. All right. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> Steve wants it. John wants it. 
other than Kylie. Kylie has an answer. Nope. So we're just gonna say Kylie's we, passing. We, we are that. we are saying the name right, right? Yeah, Kylie? it's Kylie Evans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. Well, right. I don't know. Hold on. Give me a second. You can throw another name out there if you want. I will throw another name out there. Jeez. <laughs> if the next one, if the next one passes, folks, this is what's going to happen. I'm just taking it to Dennis Dayton in Idaho. I'm going to get it. Yeah, baby. Oh, so if the next if the next one passes, Dennis State's the winner. Okay. Let me think. I'm trying to think of a cool way to do this for the ones that want it. You know. And the only reason, yeah, the only reason why I'm giving these hats away, guys, is because they were donated. And like I said, there's a lot of people that ask me about them. It's not that you know it, we're not a political show or anything like that. I mean, yeah, I, you know, that's who I voted for, but. That's not what I do it for. <laughs> I will wear the hat with pride. <laughs> yeah, I just there's a lot of people that want them, so okay. I just thought it'd be a cool giveaway. You know, I know everybody likes gold, but. <laughs> All right, I'll re-randomize the list. <laughs> See, he's got that in his head, didn't he? Oh heck yeah, I do. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh, just keep getting better. <laughs> Bill Marsh. Bill Marsh. Bill Marsh. <laughs> Bill Marsh. Do you want the Trump 2020 hat? God, this could take us all night. I'm a I play the Mandolin for I play the Mandolin for you, but I still suck. <laughs> See, John Hunt says he's a Trumper all the way. Yeah, buddy. Thomas Pennyweight, look at there. He just, look at it. He just, he, oh, Thomas just now comes in. He missed out like 75% of the show. This guy's late as heck. <laughs> Bill Marsh, I'm here. All right, there he is. He said he's here. Do you want it, Bill? Bill, you want it or you want to pass? We'll find somebody to take that out. If not, oh, damn, forget it. I'll definitely wear it. Come on, Bill. Let us know. Do you want it? You said you're here. Do you want the hat? The Trump 2020? You know, you guys... Yes. He, he says, yep. Yeah, I said, all right, Bill, go ahead. Go, yeah, go ahead and just DM me and send me your address. Congratulations, you, buddy. Yeah, congrats, Bill. Thank you, brother. Yeah. And I just got the I got the other address from last week's off of uh, Razor today, and that will be coming in the mail. In case they're, they're listening, don't worry; it's, it will be on its way. I had a little uh, technical difficulty. Somebody deleted the address, so I had to get with Razor and get it get it back. So, <laughs> so Bob, you'll be getting your hat a little later than expected. <laughs> yeah, Bill, you're welcome. You're much welcome, buddy. Yes, very, very welcome. Glad glad you like it. And Yep. You will wear it with pride. Very cool. Awesome. Oh, man. Well, I, I, hope, uh, I hope old Shed and Kathleen get the power back on tonight. You know? I'm sure they will. They probably got it on, probably listening right now, going, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> jeez. Jeez. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that's crazy. I, I think I heard today, I can't remember where, I think it was on the chat, but I think Kathleen lost the koi. I thought I'd seen something about that. Like one yeah, of them must have got snatched by a bird or something. Or who knows? A bird? Or who knows? Yeah. <laughs> it's an owl. Or an a owl hawk. or a crane or a hawk. God only knows what could have snatched it. You I don't know. know. A crane, man. Her coins is a pretty big size. A crane will come down. It'd be hard for them. Yeah, it might. Them, them old herrings, they'll come down and take them right out of there, man. <laughs> Herrings are big. Can you, imagine, can you imagine one day Shad goes, well, I had to shoot the blue thing. <laughs> Shad will eat the koi. Shad will have blue herring for dinner. <laughs> be like, what's for dinner? Blue herring tonight. Right. Yeah. Oh, 
Uh, All right, Bill Marsh. Thanks again. I uh, got your address. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. you got it. You got it, Scott. Yes, sir. All right. right. Well, I think we about covered everything tonight, didn't we? We yes, just we was... want to thank everybody yeah. for listening. Yeah, Dennis. Yeah, totally. I wish I wish we had some events and stuff like that, but I just well, I said the one it, moving around. I the Fawcett. What's that? The, I I said the one event I knew of the Fawcett at the GPAA claim this weekend. That's the only one I. Yeah, did. for all you guys that want to meet Dennis and Ed and all the guys that you always see, yeah, I'd go there for sure. Heck yeah, that's the place to do it. And get you an autographed picture of them fellers. <laughs> no, it, it's not. It's not like an event through the town, yeah, right? It's just an event. Picture Tim Grimes. No, it's not an event through the town. <laughs> it's just an event. Okay. You know? It's just. It's just an event. Yeah. You know? I don't know how much they promote it in town there, but it is. A, it's a pretty good sized event. For yeah. sure. Yeah, so if you ain't doing nothing this weekend, come on out there to the GPA Swank Claim in Belleville, Ohio. There'll be a bunch of them there, so come check it out. Bring your metal no, detector. Not only that, yeah, it's free. Don't forget yeah, for to the tune in Sunday at Sunday. seven thirty p.m. That's right, Eastern Standard Time. Why? Because we'll be here. <laughs> And we'll you know what I'm thinking? They'll discuss the crazy. new up-and-comers if they want to see all the, the, the different kinds of equipment down there at that event. There's like, because I know everybody, Dennis uses different stuff. Yeah, it's Edmund mostly different stuff. Yeah, it's mostly a metal detecting event. That's what it'll be, mostly oh. for metal detectors is what it is. It, you know, that's mainly what it is. The the Fawcett is a, it's a huge metal detecting event they have. And <clears throat> it's fun, though. They have a lot of fun, you know, so bring your kids. Yeah. Come on down. It's free, so. Everybody's welcome. Go on down and hang out. Right? And don't forget, Sunday night, Lost Treasures with Dennis Dayton. Cooley's Corner. Don't forget, be here. We'll be here. And Oh, what? you guys, I, for, I almost forgot. What? Remember last Wednesday, I was talking to you guys about a lady in London wanting to talk to me about doing a new show. Well, she got a hold of me, and I guess it's on treasure hunting and gold digging. Uh-huh. And people that actually and people that actually make a living off of it. I was like, okay, I'm kind of understanding your show now. But the interview went pretty good. Not saying anything great. Not putting my eggs in one basket or anything. But I just giving you an update that hey, things are pretty cool. I'm interested. You know, people. Somebody's interested in looking at me again. So there might be a new show come on. Not saying I'm going to be in it, but hey, the new show will be coming on sometime. <clears throat> So uh-huh. keep a lookout. Maybe Dennis will be on there for the treasure hunting part. You never can tell. <laughs> right. You never can tell. That's for sure. All right. Well, <laughs> I guess we're out of here. So everybody have a great week. Until Sunday. Good night, everybody. We'll see you Sunday. Good night, gold you diggers. Gotta- Good night, gold diggers. <laughs> Be sure to tune in next Sunday at 730 for another great show. For updates and more info, please go to www.prospectorsradio.com.